This is Jimmy Durkin and Jerry McDonald from the Bay Area News Group bringing you three observations from day 10 of the Raiders training camp here in Napa. First observation is the Raiders got a few guys back to practice today. Eddie Vanderdose, the rookie defensive tackle, being the big one coming back. A couple of those rookie tackles, David Sharp and Jalen Ware, both back at practice. Fidal Brown, a rookie defensive lineman, he had been out since the first day of camp. He was back out there. Obi Melifonwu was technically back out there. He was suited up but he did not participate in individual or team drills, still working his way back. Khalil Mack still out for, what, the second straight day. Amari Cooper remains out. Gary on Conley still has not made an appearance here in training camp on the field, and Bruce Irvin was not out there today. So still in flux a little bit with the roster. Observation number two is that T.J. Carey solidified his hold in the starting cornerback spot off Dave, opposite David Amerson. Uh, he took over the starting lineup for, for Sean Smith uh, two practices ago, and today he closed practice by jumping a route and intercepting a pass from Derek Carr, no less, and returning it for a pick six touchdown. The horn blew afterwards, and that was the end of practice. Um, Kerry is being careful not to put too much on the fact that he is starting. He says he has not changed his pro approach one bit, and but so far so good, and as long as Gary on Conley is out, and uh, Sean Smith is not starting, then TJ has a chance to be the starter. The third observation is continuing along with that theme of Sean Smith. He is really getting a lot of work there in that role in the dime package of defending the tight ends, coming up on the line and trying to go up against those bigger guys. He certainly has the size to do that at 6'3", about 220 pounds. So the Raiders are really going, going to get him a lot of reps. Today you saw him working with both the first, second, and third teams in that package, obviously trying to maximize the amount of reps that he's getting. There were times where he would come off the field and you saw him talking with linebackers coach Sal Sinceri. So certainly they are looking at him to play that hybrid role that they had talked about Obi Melifonwu playing where he's kind of a safety kind of a linebacker they want to see what value they can get out of him obviously he's a guy they invested a lot of money in and they want to see can this guy contribute for us this year maybe it's not at cornerback like we signed him to be but if he can contribute that would be helpful for this defense so those are your three observations from day 10 be sure to head over to mercurynews.com and eastbaytimes.com for all of our coverage and come back for more tomorrow on day 11.